Whirlpool is here and their CEO Jeff Fettig is with us. Uh, Jeff, thanks for coming into Toledo and uh, joining us here at the ball game today. Oh, Matt, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a beautiful night for ball game and uh, can't wait to see the Mudheads play. And you got that shirt on. I do, I do. I'm ready, ready to go. <laughs> ready to go for sure. First thing I want to ask you though is uh, 100 years in business yes. for Whirlpool. How do you go 100 years in business and be as successful as Whirlpool's been? Well, we, we celebrate our 100th anniversary last November, and uh, it, it was a great time for us to really see all the different eras that, that we've made. And, uh, you know, it really boils down to uh, building great products, uh, taking care of our customers, and, and having terrific people in our company. And uh, we've been able to do that, and, and now we're the, the leader in the global home appliance industry. Yeah, we're certainly going to talk about that as well as we show you a little right. bit uh, too. Uh, you know, Jeff, uh, you're, I, you know, doing some research here, you've been employing over 10,000 people right. here in the state of Ohio and this region. Why is the region, uh, and, and including Toledo in that, so important yeah. uh, to Whirlpool and your company? Well, for our, our North America business, uh, a big part of Whirlpool is in Ohio. Uh, we have five manufacturing facilities. Uh, we have the largest washing factory in the world in Clyde, Ohio, the largest dryer factory in the world in Marin, Ohio, uh, the largest dishwasher factory in the world in Finley. And uh, we also, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, bought a company in Ottawa making freezers. Mm. And we've got our longtime KitchenAid factory in Greenville, which makes the, uh, you probably know, the KitchenAid stand mixer and other products there. So it's, uh, it's, it's been a great part of the country for us. It's a significant part of our manufacturing base and we continue to invest very heavily in Ohio. Yeah, and we certainly thank you for that and the region as well. And uh, we've prepared a few other things we'll show you as right. well, Jeff, uh, here uh, when you look at uh, Whirlpool at a glance. Some of those things you've been talking about uh, right there, uh, you know, home to the largest uh, washer, right. <laughs> dryer. I mean, so many uh, right. great things as well. And, and environmentally safe stuff. You guys are no, kind I, of I, very heavy in that, right? Absolutely. We've been the leaders in energy efficiency and water efficiency for years. All of our factories are on the leading edge of the best environmental uh, practices. And it's, you know, it's, it's something very much in line with our values, which is to make an efficient use of resources and, and make our places of employment safe for the people who work there. And we saw that, uh, obviously, and uh, you can see so many more, uh, uh, you know, billion in the U.S. footprint. That just stands out to you right away, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, it does. It's, uh, you know, we're actually investing more in the U.S., uh, we made a commitment two years ago to invest a billion dollars in the next four years in the U.S. A big part of that's in Ohio, and we're well on our way to doing it. Uh, we're great believers about investing in America. Uh, we think this is, a, 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 particularly with our facilities, a great place to manufacture. Uh, it creates jobs. Uh, in fact, we're bringing uh, more jobs, actually insourcing jobs from other countries now into some of our Ohio facilities today. Uh, that's certainly great news to hear, Jeff. Yeah. We're, we're very excited about that. And, and with the way the economy has gone the last couple of years, that's certainly a breath of fresh air for people. Well, it is. I mean, uh, as everyone knows, the last four or five years have been really tough. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's uh, we're all optimistic that in the years ahead that we're going to see a return to demand. But, uh, you know, important for us is that we invest in innovation, we invest in people and that's how we are able to take care of our customers in the marketplace. Jeff, I appreciate you giving us some time and uh, continued success. Another 100 years would be a wonderful thing. Well, we're, we're starting our 101st year this year, so we're well on our way. All right, thank you. Jeff Fettig, the CEO of Whirlpool, joining us uh, down here on Around the Bases.